the story of a young British lad whose dreams of being a champion salsa dancer are squashed by bullies. 25 years later, <laughs> thanks to the urging and support of co-star Rashida Jones, and out of shape, well, out of shape, he looks like the, he looks like a star rugby player. We me? had him to you that moment. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, that he's, An he's out smart. of shape and out of practice man puts on his dancing shoes and makes an amazing comeback. Nick is the star, and he's the executive producer of Cuban Fury. It opens in Seattle on April 11th. Nick Frost, welcome to the Bob River Show. Hi. Thank you for having me. What a lovely intro. Thank you. Oh, and that, you can credit Joe for that intro. He, he does I wrote great the job. intro, but you chose the music. You wanted some yeah, Jimi Hendrix music. I did. I'm a big Hendrix fan, so I always feel kind of close to the source when I come to Seattle. Now, I love salsa, Yeah, but I like it with chips. Yeah, <laughs> maybe and, some queso sauce yeah, and some guacamole. Salsa dancing uh, looks like great exercise and looks like a lot of fun. Do you actually have a, have a liking for salsa yourself? Uh, I didn't. You and had then, no experience? No, none whatsoever. I was afraid of it and I hated dancing. And so the thought that I had an idea to do a dance film was completely ridiculous. So who was that horrible idea? Where did that horrible idea come from? It was two things. There, there, was, a, there was a fear. I have a fear of dancing and having people watch me dance. Mm -hmm. uh, so were you facing your fear with this movie? Yeah. In a it, way, yeah. much like the actual character. Yeah, it was essentially like an $8 million form of therapy, <laughs> which is kind of indulgent. Uh, wow. Yeah, I mean, I didn't... I like dancing and I'm kind of good at it, but I think I'd always, you know, I'd harbored a, 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 I wanted to be a dancer and I wanted to do a big dance film. And I this think is, it, this is somewhat autobiographical. Though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's basically a documentary, mm. but I, yeah, I mean, I trained, I trained for eight, seven months to do this film. I trained, I danced for six hours a day, every day for seven Serious. months. Yeah. Seriously. And, um, who is your trainer? Well, we had a guy called Richard Marcel, who's like the if there's a if there's a centre of the London salsa scene, he's it. Uh, <laughs> and they kind of flew in, kind of good looking kids from from Cuba and exotic girls from Madrid, and mm -hmm. I had like a roster of of champions, you know. And uh, I think an hour into that process, I looked at myself sweating like a big bear in the mirror and thought, you idiot. Yeah. Don't keep your thoughts to yourself next time, you know. So uh, so the making of it was uh, therapy for you and fun and hard. And uh, and uh, in the in the process, what did you discover about yourself? Um, that I, um, I can actually dance a bit, you know. Yeah. I've always I've always liked it, but it's my thing is people looking at you dance. If you're a big man who can dance well, people tend to just look at you. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's an odd look too. It's not it's not it's a kind of sympathetic look. And I didn't, it was one I kind of disliked. I think if you're a good dancer, it shouldn't matter what not that, shape you are. Not that you need fame by any means, Nick, but in a way to instant fame in America is yeah. if you're a really big man. We have a show. And you go to a sports stadium and you start dancing in the crowd, they will find you and they will put you on national oh, TV. Oh, well, I was I thinking of Dancing with the Stars. We have a show that makes people. We uh, have the same thing, yeah. yeah. You have that in Britain. We do, yeah. Wait, wait a minute. You have every show we have, and you have it first, right? I think it started office, in Britain. Yes, it did. Yeah, yeah, of course. We still all, we still all the reality shows them. start in Britain, and then they license them from Dude, here. Their government so, started I'm so there. Sorry. The city starts there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, that's I can only it. apologize. <laughs> you, I think no. the Beatles were also from Britain, yeah, wasn't that? I think the Beatles were from Wisconsin. Right, <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Liverpool. Originally. On the, on the shores of Lake Michigan, that's right. <laughs> So, uh, wow. All right, so have you been on Britain's Dancing with the Stars? No, I think, uh, if I'm being brutally honest, I'm not sure they could afford me. Hey! What a moment. Wonderful. Wonderful. Perhaps I'm overqualified. Anybody, who can, as well. anybody who can blow $8 million on a Cuban salsa movie is, yeah. a, is, a, is, a, is a quirk. I think I'd be good for the salsa, but then when it came to kind of the cha-cha-cha and the American smooth, I'd be... Right, because you can't do just one style. No, I'd be know, all washed up. You'd have to go through that whole training process. Yeah. yeah. Now, I'm guessing there's a 13-year-old Nick Frost. You've got to find a kid that somewhat resembles you for the early scenes in this film. How do you cast the childhood you? Well, if I'm being honest, we we shot them. You say them. that a lot, by the way. Well, I like to be honest. <laughs> uh, uh, we shot them when I was 13 uh, and then just sat on the, sat on the footage I love it. Yeah. For, for 28 years. That's planning. Hey, um, this movie, uh, there's, there's a, this is a great theme of this movie is uh, about a dream that you gave up on. Was there something in your life, that you, a dream that you had that, I mean, you get to do something that you obviously love. Yeah. But was there some dream as a kid that didn't happen for you? Um, I... <sighs> God, lots, you know, but I think... Lots. Lo <laughs> uh, 
a lot of them involve girls, but I mean, if it's uh, so, I mean, I'd say rugby. You know, I played rugby from that's the age right. of that's right yeah. seven till I was twenty, and I got to a point in my life where it was like, do you really want to train four nights a week and and get into fist fights with large Nigerian rugby players, or <laughs> would you? Do you want to go and have a drink with a group of mates? You know and what I mean? cheer them from the stands. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. So, so one form of applying yourself seemed more appealing than the other. Yeah, but, I yeah. chose the other road. Yeah. Uh, and uh, But you always love rugby. Could you do I, now a movie about your comeback in rugby? I, I think I'm, I, am, I am too old. I mean, I've, I've written a film about a wrestler, so mm. I think that could be next for me. So I said just a chance for me to do films where I get to train and almost be killed. In, in, <laughs> yeah. in that There's not going to be a whole series of those. Yeah, no. we just so, release them as documentaries. So now, I read that you're a, you're a dad now. You have like I am a, a dad. Three, three year old son. Right? Yeah, he's amazing. I never thought uh, it would be as amazing as it is, and uh, he's lovely and naughty. And Na- naughty. He's naughty. Well, you know? he's at that age where he wanders around and wants to get in everything. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I was sitting, uh, you know, in this in my front room the other day, and we got a bunch of pillows on the sofa, and he came in and threw them all on the floor. I said, who's going to clean them up? He said, not me. <laughs> <laughs> kind of walked off. Uh, hey, oh, I got a 15-year-old that stays that way. <laughs> I mean, it's still that way. I think he's going to go to the pub and drink with his mates someday. Yeah. 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 So, uh, and um, would you have any sign yet at age three of what he's interested in? Like uh, reading? Do you read to him? Ice cream uh, he and likes pooping. Cooking. Yeah. He likes cooking. He cook- loves to poop. Yeah. He, uh, <laughs> he loves cooking. He loves, I cook, I, I, I trained as a cook, so I cook all the time at home. So from the very beginning, he's been eating everything we eat. So even down to things like fresh ginger and garlic and chilies and Vindaloo curries, he oh. will try it all. Oh, you're real cooks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that's kind of the. Do you cook freelance? Like, do you uh, do you cook with recipes, or do you? Because I was learning about no. this last week. Some people cook, and they're sort of creative every time they cook. Uh, no, I don't cook with recipes, but I know the theories behind what's yes. happening. Okay. So that's you, freestyle. Right? You know that yeah. if you're gonna fry a, 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 an onion till it goes brown, it's gonna add a certain amount it's of sweetness caramelize to whatever, whatever you're yeah, gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. that you know. Wow, cool. I don't know anything about cooking except for here's my credit card bring me the food yeah uh-huh. well, that works you know so i think cooking and he's naked a lot too so i don't know if he's all your like <laughs> <He's practicing laughs> all you but <laughs>